Hey everybody, this is Glorinctus, and welcome back to a little bit of Earth House 4. We are playing as Georgia, part of the Georgian Empire series. So, right now we're in a war with Kulkend. We are taking their provinces, and... We are also in another war. We're not really that involved in it. It's kind of like Russia and these guys' issue. So, we're not really getting involved in that. We're saying, oh yeah, yeah, we're... We're helping out. Chernigo Purge of Lithuanian Heresy. Oh, you could just right click the Sue for Peace. I didn't know that. So I could just go. I could just do that. I did not know that. Okay, so we got another province. There we go. We'll have full siege. Of Kokhand. Naive relative. He is a relative after all. Don't want to punish him too bad. Yeah, yeah, you... Um, one, two. Truce expired with Kiev. Okay, that's fine. They're a vassal, so. They're not really a powerful one, so. After this, we might go in and see about fighting this war. Everybody's got low, so it's probably the end of the war. And we don't have any more manpower. So we can't really fight three, 30,000 large armies. Alright, so they'll give us that, that's 50, that's only 39. Okay, um, do that, release the Timurids, ooh, where are the Timurids? I don't really see them on the map, so they're not really that advantageous for us. get some some loot oh that's right I could just go right click there we go and we could humiliate let's see if we could actually get that going So we could do that. Can we humiliate them and get some? Well, why not? 24. Demands exceed war score. War reparations. Give up. Well, you don't have any claims that are. Return cores. Well, boy, that already likes us, so let's improve. Alright, let's get this. 
let's give one province over to what that call this war over get these guys over here let's give these guys some autonomy don't know why they're so not except that's not doing that much but it's pretty much due to their separatism Okay, sure. Alright, let's see. We need to reduce this, boost that, go over here, and make the more expensive ones cores. has no longer a rival because of that. Hopefully we can get this underway. These guys actually want to be Kievan. Kazaki. Kokandi. Yeah, it's all different kind of people, so the the unrest is distributed amongst different people, so it's not going to be concentrated in one revolution, or rebellion, I mean. Alright, so let's... Oh, good. Let's get this down here. At least get some guys over into our troops. This is a negative, so that's good. Um, okay, so we didn't lose any provinces. Chernigal, Kerndigal only lost the provinces. That's all right. We're still friendly, still friendly. Good. Let's go and improve relations. Oh, I don't think Oirat likes us anymore. Nope, they don't like us anymore. Let's get this. Right click this guy. Bring back. Yep. Well, I don't think they like us very much now. Because of the aggressive expansion. Oh, they do have provinces right here. An alliance with Poland. Well, let's... I don't want to be like... Oh, let's... But we gotta make sure that we're not... Who are we? We're guaranteeing Trebizond, and they don't like us. Russia, Poland... Trebizond. Alright, let's stop guaranteeing Trebizond then. Let's see. Oh, what religion are they? Oh, they're bringing Orthodox down into there. Oh, that's great. But, um, they don't like us, and we don't like them. So let's stop guaranteeing. Right. Kazakh, Afghanistan, Persia. Let's well, actually try and improve relations with. <coughs> Sorry, guys. 
Trevazon. Ottomans. Wait. Okay, there we go. Oman. Sorry, I read that wrong. The Ottomans are going into the Mamluk territory real easy. Oh, Kokan's got territories up here. They colonized some provinces? Okay. Poland is allied to us. Do we have royal marriage? Okay. Kiev didn't lose any provinces. Let's see our subjects. Let's make sure. Enable embargo rivals. rivals. Well, they don't have any liberty desire, so that's good. Let's see, we can improve that by 84 more. Okay. And that's being conquered by Persia. Kazaki separatists. Oh, we gotta deal with this stuff. Rally up the men. Great, we gotta do two of them. Two ticks. Mm-hmm. These guys come over here. There we go. Our royal marriage with Russia has ended. Let's go fix that. have Kazaki separatists? Yep. <coughs> Sorry guys. We're only making two provinces cores. We could probably afford two more. There we go. Country before faith. Our relation with the religious descendants of Gurgen has varied. Local Sunni seem to maybe a keen phrase the situation. Seem to appreciate our leadership. Religious ties provide that they can be relied on. We will trust them to remain loyal to us, loyal unbelievers, and a 25% chance of disloyal unbelievers. Hmm. How old are we? 62. Let's take this chance. Okay, so we got the loyal believers. Loyal unbelievers. A plague. 
let's fund it. Let's get these guys back up. Back down here. Get some money back in. We will be able to pay off a loan once we get 294. 294 minus 230 divided by 6, 5 months approximately. Let's get these down now. Keep our capital at full maintenance. There we go, now we're making some more money. On. We still dislike them, but they're, they're starting to like us some more. All oh, these rebels. We're not coring fast enough for these rebels. Standardized of caliber. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and boost this up to five. Because we are in peacetime now. Don't know when stuff is going to happen next. But. Okay, so if you guys forget, the reason why I got that stuff is because it's in the Samarkand. And the Samarkand feeds into our trade node. So the more we can control in the Samarkand trade node, then the more we can feed into our trade node. Because we collect here. And we earn 1.63. But the more we can feed into here, because we are a pro... Oh, we're not that big. Russia, uh. Russia's always being so prominent. Where is their, um. Let's see. Their trade power, caravan power. Hmm. Caravan power is. We only have 30% income modifier. National trade policy. Well then. Oh, we could get policies. No? Oh, great. Well, let's hope we can get these rebels down. Military access from Kiva. Alright. Alright, let's repay that loan. Conversion. Send these guys. We could get a whole bunch more men. So we could get nine more. So let's get nine more. Oh, this is kind of wonky. Alright, let's get four, 
two, three. Army two. There we go. And there we go. And we don't have enough money for that. I guess. Not enough manpower. Uh, one cross the 50% line. to get these cores done with, hopefully they'll bring it down. Alright, recall that guy. Get that as a core. Alright, there we go. That should bring it down. It's still so much. Yeah, once we get these two provinces cored, it'll be a, a lot less overextension. Still need about 6,000 men. Could do a little bit more development. Yeah, let's just go for the development. Point three, point four. I have to remember every single time whenever I do this. Let's actually look at the economic while we do this. Oh, got it. You got to press it afterwards. Point three, point three, point four. That looks good. Point four. And four. There we go. We could trade. Build a great palace. Legitimacy, prestige, and cost money. Alright, now we're a big thing in here. <clears throat> Alright. Now Lithuania is. Do we not... Oh, we don't like Lithuania. Let's go and... Economy... We have a truce with them, so we can't declare a embargo. Oh boy, these guys are getting frisky. We need to do something about that. I don't know why things are more expensive right now. Is it just because we have um, less income? Try and keep our guys together as long as possible without suffering as much attrition. Get another tick. More discoveries. I've, always, I've wondered, what's our winter? Most of our provinces have a mild winter. Our capital had a severe winter. That's interesting. Uh, winters mean the greatest 
the amount of fluctuation there is from summertime to wintertime as far as your, um, your, what's it called? Supply limit. There we go. So if you have severe winter during the winter, you have a drastically less amount of, of supply. Take a look at our map. Okay. So now we're getting a plus sign. And I'm, I guess we're kind of like on the iffy part of this. Point six years. Okay. Hopefully, this next province can take off some more. Overextension. Well, this place already has the nationalism, so... Okay. Okay, so it wasn't that bad. I'm just... I was expecting a lot more troops. Come on, get there before they... Great. Ready to get that next technology. Let's bring these guys back down to this much maintenance. This is making everything plus seven times more expensive. Just to build stuff. And the um, extended timeline mod, I made it so that you would experience more cost to maintain people too, not just build things. How big is Persia's army? They have 42,000 troops. We can build some places. Marketplace, workshop, temple, barracks, and shipyard. Okay. Hey, pretty soon we have enough manpower we could do, we could get over that, over theirs. Now we can get 11. Alright, we're almost done with that technology. And you guys, with that, I'd like to see you guys in the next episode. Over and out.